It is a great time to be a PlayStation fan because just two days ago, the PS5 console finally got a long-awaited exclusive right before Sony takes us back to the mid-2000s by making attachable disk drives cool again. And that game is none other than the sequel title of Spider-Man 2. Now, no matter what kind of gamer you are or you know what console you decide to play on, chances are, you know, in the last 48 hours, you've heard something about this game. Whether it's the praise for innovation that the game has brought on a graphics and gameplay level, or the new MJ face that looks AI generated, you know, whichever comes first. But listen, everyone has their own favorite type of game and, you know, game genre that they always like, and that's cool, but, you know, just from what I've seen out of this game, any person that grew up either liking Spider-Man or, you know, just a fan of open world games with immersive stories in general will find something fun about this game, deadass. Like, the only other time this year that I could easily recommend just trying a game was with Starfield, and ironically enough, that was an exclusive too. Now, which one is a better game is kind of interesting to think about. I may or may not be trying to inside a ride in the comment section. Anyway, Spider-Man 2 is undoubtedly a well-designed game with millions of players eager to get their hands on it, obviously. Except even a game as big and as good as this one is an exempt from what I like to call the day one curse, which is basically the glitches and bugs that every game has at launch, usually fixed within the first patch, but still annoying as hell to deal with. Now, gameplay wise, you know, players have reported Spider-Man 2 to have seen, you know, your classic glitches spawned by the day one curse. Shit like crashes, levels not loading, being stuck in weird places, you know, pretty much your basic package of issues that make you want to hurl the controller at the monitor. But of course, all minor and easily fixable with a simple game restart. However, for some, there is a glitch that's a bit more fatal gameplay wise and arguably the worst one to run into because it happens before you even get to launch the game for the first time. Players have been reporting that there's disc versions of Spider-Man 2 out there that are completely unplayable from the start. And I'm not talking like the first mission start. They claim that once they try to do the installation of the game data, there is some sort of error that either gets the installation stuck at a certain percentage or the disc just doesn't even get recognized by the PS5 console altogether. Some pretty hardcore bad news. Now I have done some digging in the depths of Reddit and you know other places and a solution for a good amount of people usually revolves around restarting the download or you know the console or maybe putting it in rights like how they did iPhones back in the day. But seriously, some people even had to take more extreme measures just to get the game to install like you know installing offline, rebuilding the console's database, cleaning the cache, just going out of their way for this one game. But unfortunately, some players are still on the sharp end of the sword because there's reports of players still not able to play after trying everything I just listed along with other methods. It's gotten to the point where people have had to go back to the store that they bought the game from and replace the disc with another copy of the game. And what's really fucked up is that some people had to do that multiple times. The whole situation is just whack and you know, I feel bad for the people that gotta deal with this right now because as lazy as I am, I would have just got the refund and called it a day on the first air. Now, there is some talk floating around saying that this is all because of a regional bash thing or something, you know, basically saying that some countries' games just have defective discs, which doesn't sound good either. It's just another event that pushes us towards an all digital games future, unfortunately, because there hasn't been any case that I've seen of this happening for the people who bought the game digitally. But of course, this will likely be addressed soon in a patch of some sort or, you know, recall if it is a disc issue going forward. So hopefully the game gets fixed for everyone that wants to play and we all can enjoy Spider-Man 2. So what do you guys think about Spider-Man 2 and this glitch, man? Have you guys, you know, ran into it? Have you heard somebody ran into it? Feel free to comment down below. And as always, if you like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.